The North Bay Battalion is pleased to select Carter Kostich from the Vaughn Kings. Yeah, I mean, Carter was a guy that, that caught our eye right from the start of the season. You know, he, he kind of fits what we've we've come accustomed to and what we look for in a battalion player. And, you know, he, he, he's fast, he's competitive, he's tenacious. And, um, you know, there's a lot to work with there. He's a really hungry kid and um, we can't wait to get started with him. I think that he's got uh, a really high ceiling and I think that he's got that engine and that motor to, to go and get it. Speed. I think, you know, first and foremost, he's fast. Um, and, and, you know, when you compare that with the fearlessness, I, I think it gets you to some places that um, put you in some high end scoring opportunities. So I think that we're going to be able to utilize that speed quite a bit. And, you know, as he's able to kind of grow and, and, you know, build muscle, I think that it's only going to become more lethal as he gets older. The North Bay Battalion is pleased to select Zachary Wilson from the Central Ontario Wolves. Yeah, I mean, he, Zach, obviously the first thing that stands out is his size. He's, he's a big boy that, um, you know, he, it doesn't seem to affect his mobility at all, which um, is something that we, we quickly caught, uh, caught on to. And, um, you know, as a big guy like that, you start to see the things that they can do. And, um, you know, first, like I said, his mobility is very good. He moves pucks very well. Uh, he's a very mature guy. He, he, he takes care of his own end. So there's really not a lot of holes to his game. And, and I think another guy that, you know, when we can get him into our program and start working with some of our coaches, I think that it's only going to grow from there. If there's one thing that we learned over our last two years is you get into those, those uh, rounds later in the playoffs and um, it, you want to be hard to play against. And I think that's something that Aaron definitely brings. He's, he's hard to play against, but he also, like, like we said previously, he doesn't give up a lot in the other areas of his game. So he's a pretty uh, complete player, but certainly his strengths are protecting the house and making life a lot easier on the goalies. And, um, you know, it's something that he really covets and, uh, in himself. But uh, a hardworking kid, hardworking family. It was great to meet them um, this year and look forward to, to following him at the start of the year with Renfrew. Yeah, it was funny. We went into the draft room and, you know, we got to round five and we had picks 99, 100, 100. So um, we were kind of fighting <laughs> internally over over the different types of guys, and we just said, you know what, we have an opportunity. I think this would be a pretty good line in the OHL. We, we took all three of the guys, and that was Adam Smeaton, Wraith Smith, and Stepan Chukura. Starting with Adam, he was a guy that, you know, obviously they had some pretty good players on that Don Mills team, but he always kind of stood out as just a, a calming presence, you know, doing the right things that a coach would love. Big guy, strong, uh, played down the middle on the wing. Um, I would say the same for, for Wraith Smith, you know, he, he's a guy that um, geographically a little bit farther from North Bay, but a guy that right from the start of the year we had rated quite high um, anytime we got out to see him. And, and then especially in the midget championships, where, sorry, the U18 championships, I should say, where we had a couple prospects in North Bay, we were able to see him uh, as the host Windsor team and, and just thought he was quite dominant in that, that tournament. So yeah, we seem to have a team every year, the last couple of years where, uh, you know, it just for whatever reason, the guys jump out at us. And, you know, Vaughn certainly was a team for us that, that we saw quite a bit uh, with Carter and then, you know, taking Stefan. Stefan was a guy that, um, you know, it, first thing that jumps out, big kid, moves well, great skill. He was hurt quite a bit this year. So um, I would say there's some inconsistencies, but, um, you know, when, when we were able to talk to the kid, what an impressive interview, um, you know. And I think it's taken for granted what some of these guys' backgrounds are, but he's a kid that's really worked hard and worked for everything. And um, a guy that, that we feel like if he can have some injury-free uh, time could develop into a very good player for us. We've had some success the last two years. So the natural thought is that you need to take a, a step back. Well, you know, guys like Liram, guys like uh, Nolan Laird, guys like Dylan Richter, um, you know, not to mention some of the guys that, that got to, to be here in North Bay, like Ethan Possession and Jacob Terrian are guys that give us a lot of um, confidence going into next year when you pair that with, you know, your Ty Nelson, your Tanias Mathurins, your Dom DiVincentis, uh, the, the, the old Ragers that, that we could get back this year as well. And, you know, Dallin Wakeley, Anthony Romani, I think that there's a lot to be excited about here. And um, we look forward to, to trying to build off what we've done the last two years. And I think that those guys, even though they don't have the experience, they've been putting in the time behind the scenes. And, um, you know, we, we feel they can jump in and have some success immediately. So look forward to them answering the challenge.